My fellow SRT4 enthusiasts, welcome back to Autophone. Alex the Car Guy here, and today I'm gonna be adjusting my emergency brake, also known as the e brake. On a Dodge Neon, the e brake is controlled by the rear wheels of the car. Now, here's a model of a brake disc, not the actual brake disc from a Dodge Neon, but basically, what you have on the back of the disc, there are two little shoes, and those shoes open up when the e brake is full. As the shoes open up, they bring the wheel to a halt. That's how the e-brake on the Dodge Neon works. Over time, the shoes will wear out, or if the rear discs are replaced, the e-brake will need adjustment. Now, Dodge has made this a fairly straightforward thing. Basically, there is a little wheel on the back that you turn one way to loosen up the e-brake, or you turn the other way to tighten the e-brake. Now, this has to be done on both of the rear wheels, the driver's side and the passenger side. Also, keep in mind this won't fix a broken e-brake. I have a separate video that covers how I fix my broken e-brake. I'll put a link on the description below if you're interested in looking at that. Alright, let's get this started. I'm gonna be starting with the driver's side. To access the adjustment star wheel, this dust cap must be removed. The adjustment star wheel is now visible. The star wheel can be turned up or down. For the driver's side, turning the wheel down tightens the e-brake. Using a flat screwdriver, the service manual says to continue turning the wheel down until a slight drag is felt when turning the rear wheel. At this point, the manual says to back up the star wheel. This is done by turning it upward a few clicks until no drag is felt on the rear wheel. Notice the difference. The service manual says not to back up the wheel more than two clicks. Ah, nice and smooth. The dust cover can now be replaced. Moving on to the passenger side, the process is repeated. However, the wheel is turned in the opposite direction to tighten. Turning the star wheel up tightens the e-brake, and turning the wheel down loosens the brake. After adjusting this eye and confirming that there is no drag on the wheel, the dust cap can be replaced. The e-brake adjustment is not complete. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. I got more SRT4 videos coming up, so be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Also, feel free to comment with suggestions for future videos. And as always, thanks for watching.